Hey, what's going on people? Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys what are the best settings for Valorant on a low-end PC and laptops. So watch this video till the end. I'm going to be explaining you guys factors and many things that are helpful that other YouTubers won't tell you. So stick around till the end. Do not skip any part for better performance. And with all this said, let's roll the intro. Alright, so really first thing is downloading this game into an SSD. An SSD is a solid state drive which is comparatively much faster than a hard disk drive. So if you're downloading this game, I highly recommend you guys to download it on SSD. Now once you have downloaded this game on SSD, go to your laptop or your desktop screen, press your windows and R key together and search for app data in here. Then go to the local folder and then search for Valorant. Then in here, go to saved and then go to config and then click on date modified and you'll see the latest file over here. Skip the crash report plan and the first one, open this thing up and then go to windows folder. In here, you'll have the game user settings.ini file. Simply right click and edit this file and if not, go to properties and then opens with change it to notepad. Then simply double click and open this thing up and you'll see a bunch of settings in here but you have to make sure to change just a few settings the first one is be use vsync make sure that it is default turned to false then for resolution size x i highly recommend you guys to go with 1200 into 800 now this is one of the most optimal resolution for game. So this is a 4 is to 3 window size and that will give you much better FPS. If not, you can keep it to 1280 by 720. There are other options which I'm going to be leaving a link to in the description below for best resolution if you want to get maximum frames. But I highly recommend you guys to use this resolution size as it is, as it is lowest and it will give you the best quality and best performance. Then scroll all the way down until you find the scalability groups. Now once you find the scalability groups in here for resolution quality, I highly recommend you guys to drop it to 90.000000 and make sure that it is on 90. You won't see much of a difference with this, um, just a little quality difference, but that's okay. Then for the viewer distance quality, set it to 1, anti-aliasing quality, set it to 1, shadow quality, set it to 1, post process quality, set it to 1, texture quality, set it to 1, effects quality, set it to 1, foliage quality, set it to 1, and then finally the shading quality, set it to 1. Once you are done with all of these settings, simply press Ctrl and S all together and then close your game user settings at INI. Then another thing is right click, go to properties and then make sure to set it to read only. Once applied, click on OK and then minimize it because you might want to change everything back again. But now once you have done all of those things, I highly recommend you guys to use exit lag. Exit lag is must have application if you are facing ping and internet issues. Simply go to the link in the description below and download a free 3 day trial for exit lag. And once you have installed it, you can simply open it up from your system tray, sign up without any credit card or hesitation and exit lag will open up just like this. Now once you have exit lag on your screen, it will offer you a list of over 250 games to choose from. Simply search for Valorant from here and then let it analyze the routes. So what exit lag does, it is simply opens up a VPN type thing where you can connect to your server without any uh, hindrance. So this will automatically find the nearest server, simply set it to automatic and then simply click on user country routes uh, and then simply click on apply. Now you guys can see it will automatically search whenever you open up the game and give you the lowest ping possible. So if you're facing any packet loss or ping issues, you can get exit lag for completely free and then go to tool section, click on FPS boost and then enable these three options as well as the second last option. These are the best settings in exit lag that you can do to get better FPS on your PC. Now exit lag is not free to use. You have to get a subscription plan for exit lag, but you can get monthly, semi-annual or quarterly subscription according to whatever you can pay off. But if that's too much for you, you guys can use code bearfox20 
community while checkout flat 20% off on any of these subscriptions so make sure to choose wisely you can get monthly semi annual or quarterly subscription for 20% off on the main price so make sure to consider buying exit lag because it will help you to get better ping and it will fix almost all your internet problems so once you have set all of those things simply open up valorant and let's go and check how valorant opens up all right so the first thing that you will notice is valorant opens up in a windowed mode so i highly recommend you guys do not go for full screen just keep it to windowed mode and then for resolution i highly recommend you guys to go down with 1280 720 16 is to 9 240 hertz or whatever suits best for you just lower down the resolution and then click on apply and that will make your window a little bit more smaller then simply go to graphics quality and then from here simply set everything to low and everything to off now once you have done with all of those settings then go to stats and then make sure to have these two options enable and rest everything to hide now you can simply jump into a deathmatch and see your fps so that was it for this video guys i hope i could have helped you out and if i could make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button we'll see you guys in the next video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out